Genesis chapter 21. Yeah. Go down to verse number 14. And when you find it, say amen. And Abram rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it to Hagar, putting it in her on her shoulder and the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. And the water was spent in the bottle. And she cast the child under one of the shrubs. And she went and set her down over against him a good way off, as it were a bow shot. For she said, let me not see the death of the child. And she sat over him and lifted her voice and wept. Somebody ought to say, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Look at your neighbor and say, the Lord, the Lord will, will make a way somehow. I'll turn to somebody else and say it like you meant it. The Lord will, the Lord will make a way, make a way. Somehow. somehow. How many of y'all know this morning that the Lord will yeah, yeah, yeah. make a way come on, come on. somehow? That's right. Give him some praise. Yeah. Amen. Has the Lord ever made a way out of no, out of no way for somebody this morning? Yeah, yeah. The Lord will make a way somehow. Y'all may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Pray for the preacher this morning. Amen. Today is Mother's Day. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. And we, this is the day that we celebrate mothers. Yes, sir. I said that this is the day that we celebrate mothers. Amen. They deserve it. Yeah. Amen. 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 They earned it. Mm -hmm. Say amen today. Amen. amen. So today I want you to join me in giving God praise for our mothers. Oh, come on, we can do better than that. If, if, if every man in the house ought to be on his feet right now. Amen. Giving God praise for our mothers. Amen, amen, amen. We thank God for our mothers, amen, and we praise God for our mothers. We praise God, amen, for our grandmothers, help me somebody, amen, who are raising children or who are raising a second set of children. Somebody ought to say amen this morning. Amen. We give God praise. Now, today is that day that, 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 that is set aside on the calendar, the second Sunday in May of every year, amen, uh, that we celebrate, amen, Mother's Day. But I submit to you this morning that every day is Mother's Day. Yeah, yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah, come on. Amen. Because mothers, and I'm talking about real mothers, amen, real mothers are mothers 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 300 and and 65 days a year do I have anybody that will give a witness this morning right now? Amen, amen. And, 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 and I'm not talking about help me somebody. Amen. Folk that just gave birth to children because everybody that gave birth ain't a mother. Somebody yeah. ought to say amen this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen. But, but 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 a real mother ought to be celebrated all the time. Not just on one day of the year, but all the time. Amen. You see, a real mother loves and cares for her children, not just on Mother's Day. Yeah. Help me somebody. Yeah. Yeah. But every day of that lives. And I want to tell you something else. It, it don't matter how old you get. Somebody ought to be a witness in here. You are still your mother's child and she loves you. Help me somebody. Just like she did the day that you sprung from, from her womb. Y'all ought to give God some praise for mothers this morning. Amen, 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 amen. I, 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 I know that uh, y'all have some other plans for the day, and, and you may be taking mother out or, or whatever your plans are, so I don't want to keep you too long, amen. But I do want to t stay here long enough to tell you what thus said the Lord. Is that right? Amen. amen. Our text this morning. Brother AJ is the story of a mother. Yeah, yeah. Am I right about it? Yeah. She is a mother that had only one son. Mm -hmm. Am I right about it? Yeah. A mother who finds herself mm -hmm. and her child 
amen, in a situation facing circumstances that are of no fault of her own. Somebody ought to say amen this morning. And I want y'all to take some time, amen, and go back and read this story about Hagar. Amen. It's some interesting reading there. Uh, 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 you will find that, 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 that I'm right when you, when you read her story. Somebody ought to say amen. 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 Here she is facing, amen, circumstances and a situation, and it's not her fault. Help me, somebody. She didn't, she didn't do anything to, to, to bring her to where she is at this point in the text. Am I right about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in order for you to fully understand who Hagar is, amen, and, 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 and why she is in this situation and facing these circumstances, you must go back, amen, and all way back to, amen, actually Genesis the 12th chapter, amen, but even more in the 16th chapter, and what I want you to do as a homework assignment, right. help me somebody, is to go back and read chapter 12, and, and then visit with chapter 16, amen, and see what the story tells us. Mm -hmm. Amen. You will find, amen, the story, uh, the story that brings this mother to where she is in our text right now. Yeah. You see, God, help me somebody, the almighty God, God, the all-powerful God, God, the sovereign God. God in chapter 12, amen, had promised Abraham that he would make him a great nation. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. But here, amen, the, the, that promise had not yet been fulfilled. Mm. Abraham is getting old, and his wife Sarah has gone past the childbearing years, amen, amen. And I want to know this morning, is there anybody here, amen, that knows that a delay is not a denial? Mm, that's good. Did y'all hear what I said? A delay is not a denial. If God said it, yeah. God's going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me back up and say that one more time. A delay, help me somebody, is not a deny. Oh, if God said he's going to do it, then God is going to do yeah. just what he said. Somebody ought to be a witness in here this morning. Amen, amen, amen. Is there anybody in here this morning that that, that, that knows that, that because it does not happen when you think that it's going to happen, that it does not mean it's not going to happen? Somebody ought to be a witness in here this moment. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Let me break it down for you. Amen. How many of you know? Amen. 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 How many of you know? Amen. He may not come when you want him to come. Yeah, yeah. But when he shows up, he's right on time. Y'all yeah, yeah. ought to high, so, high five somebody and tell him this morning that he's always, he's always right on time. Yeah, yeah. Amen, amen, amen. I, I, is there anybody in here this morning, help me somebody, amen, that knows that God will do just what he said that he will do? Yeah. I, got, I, I got a news flash for you this morning. Amen. If God said it, I believe it. I'm taking that to the bank because God will do just what he said yeah. Yeah, yeah. that he will do. Come on, come on. We find in the 16th chapter, Amen. That Abraham and Sarah, like many of us, got in a hurry and got weary waiting on God. Let me, let's pause right there for a moment. Do you know how many blessings, help me somebody, that, 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 that we have missed because we, amen, got tired or we got in a hurry or we just refused to wait on God. Help me somebody. Amen. But there's a blessing in the wait. Do I have any witnesses in here this morning? Sarah and, and Abraham, amen, amen, got in a hurry, amen, and in their haste, they made some mistakes. Right. Let me tell you something this morning. When you get in a hurry, when you get, amen, ahead of God, amen, there are problems down the road. You better wait on the Lord. Amen. Sarah said to Abraham, I'm barren now. Amen. And I'm beyond my child 
barren years. Amen. 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 And Sarah says to him, Amen. I, 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 I got this Egyptian handmaid. Help me, somebody. Right. Yeah. She's young. She, she, she's nice looking. Help me, somebody. Amen. I want you to go into her and I want you to lay with her that she might conceive, amen, and bear children in my name. Somebody ought to be a witness in here this morning. Yeah. I want you to go back and I want you to read this story because, you know, there's some interesting stories in the book, in, in, in these 66 books. Help me, somebody. Amen. There's some stuff in here that ain't got nothing on some stuff that y'all have done. Somebody ought to be a witness in here this morning. But she said to him, I want you to go into Hagar, amen, that she might conceive, amen, and bear children in my name. So Abraham went into Hagar, and she conceived, and Abram, amen, bore a son with her whose name is Ishmael. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen. Now, Ishmael, amen, is not the child that God promised to Abraham and Sarah. Am I right about it? Yes, Amen, amen. Ishmael, amen, is Abraham's, or uh, Abram's, amen, firstborn son, but he is not the son of promise. Am I right about it? He is not the heir. He is not the one that God promised. He is the child, amen, that 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 that, that Sarah and Abram, amen, decided or, 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 or that they came up with. Am I right about it? Amen, amen. The promised child is yet to come. Amen. Tell somebody a delay is not a denial. Amen. Y'all didn't say that. Say that a delay is not a denial. Amen. Sarah is 90 years old. Amen. And guess what? She conceives and Isaac the promised child is born. Am I right about it? Amen. Now there's a problem. Y'all hear what I say? Yes, now, there's a problem. You know what the problem is? Amen, amen. It was Sarah's idea. Yeah. Am I right about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Amen. For Abraham to go in to, 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 to Hagar. But now that Sarah has had a child, Hagar and her child got to get going. Yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. ought to say amen. Yeah. Amen, amen, amen. Let me tell y'all something, men. I'm about to get in a world of trouble, but that's all right. Pray for me. Amen. Women tend to, tend to, to talk out of both sides of their head. Somebody ought to say amen. Let me turn around so y'all don't have to look at me say this. Amen. They, they, they might mean it today, but tomorrow they don't mean what they meant today. Am I right about it? Do I have any witness that will stand? Do I have any men that will stand up and, and support me this morning? Amen, amen, amen. Just, to, just, just because that's what she meant today, that don't mean that's what she means tomorrow. Help me, somebody. Amen, amen. So now there's a problem. Amen, amen. Sarah has her own child. Sarah has Isaac, amen, and Ishmael and, 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 and Hagar, amen, are now a problem. Am I right about it? Yeah, Jealousy yeah. is a terrible thing. Come on, come on. Yeah. Did y'all hear what I said? Jealousy is a terrible thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say it one more time, and then I'm going to leave that alone, <laughs> Brother Hard Road. Jealousy yeah. is a terrible thing. Yeah. Yeah. Am I right about it? Amen, amen. Sarah is jealous. Help me, somebody. Amen. And she goes in and she tells her husband, get that woman and her child out of here. Right. Am I right about it? Yeah. I'm not telling you what. I'm not making this up. It's in the word. Yeah. She said to him, they got to go. Right. Not tomorrow. <laughs> not next week. Amen, but, 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 but they got to go now. Am, am, am I right about it? Amen. But now listen, amen, and I want you to go back, as I said, and I want you to read the text. God tells Abraham, listen to your wife. Am I right about it? And whatever she says, you do what she said. So early the next morning, Abram gets up. Amen. And he gets a little food. Yeah. And the Bible says a bottle of water. 
Am I right about it? And he gives it to Hagar. Amen. This little bit of food and this bottle of water. And he sends her and her son away. Am I right about it? Amen. Amen. He fixes her some sandwiches. Am I right about it? And gets a bottle of water. Not even a gallon of water, just a bottle of water. Amen. No, 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 just, just a bottle of water. And he takes her and her son, amen, and he sends them away. Now, 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 Hagar, remember, didn't have nothing to do with the plan that Abram and Sarah came up with, that Abram would come in, help me somebody, amen, and lay with her. She's a slave. Am I right about it? Yeah. She has to do what the master says. It's not her fault, but yet here she is. She and her child, and they're put out, help me somebody, amen, into the wilderness with some savages and a bottle of water. Somebody ought to be a witness in here this morning. Amen, amen. Hagar finds herself and her son wandering in the wilderness, amen, of Bathsheba, amen, amen, with very little water and with very little food. In, in, in other words, she had limited resources. Mm, yeah. Somebody ought to be a witness in here this morning. But even though she had limited resources, her resources were not her source. Somebody ought to say amen this morning. Yeah, yeah. Amen, amen. When the bottle of water was gone, Amen. And the sandwiches had been eaten up. Help me, somebody. She took Ishmael and she set him under a shrub. Help me, somebody. And then she walked off. Amen. Not leaving her child. But she wanted to get just far enough that she would not hear him cry. You see, a mother never wants to hear her child cry. Because there's something wrong. Am I right about it? Amen, amen, amen. She walked over, amen, amen, just far enough, amen, that she could not hear him cry. But you will read it in the text. He, and she sat down and she began to cry. And even so she couldn't hear the child cry, God heard him cry. Am I right about it? How many of you know, I don't care what your situation is this morning, God will hear you. I don't care what's around that might be drowning you out, that God will hear you. Amen, amen, amen. The Bible says, amen, amen, that God heard the child. Amen. And, 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 and as the child was crying, amen, God sent an angel to Hagar. Am I right about it? How many of you know the Lord will make a way somehow? Amen, amen. And that angel of God called out Hagar and said to her, what's wrong with you, Hagar? Help me, somebody. In, 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 in the text it says, Hagar, what ailed you? What's wrong with you? Fear not. God has heard the voice of your child where he is. Somebody ought to say amen. And then he says to her, get up, get the child. And God will make him a great generation. Won't the Lord make a way out of no way? Help me, somebody. Now, 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 I don't know who this message is for this morning, but there's somebody, amen, 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 that's listening right now, that's in a situation that is of no fault of your own. Help yeah. me, somebody. But God told me to tell you, don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't fret about it. Amen. Don't even cry no more because the Lord will. Is there anybody here this morning that knows that he will? Oh, yeah. Amen. The Lord will make a way somehow. Help me somebody. Amen. You may not be able to see it. Help me somebody. Amen. But God will make a way somehow. You may not. Amen. It may not look like it right now. But God will make a way somehow. Just hold on a little while longer. God is getting ready to work a miracle in your life. Don't give up. Amen. Hagar and her son were cast out. They had been put out. 
they are in the wilderness. The bread is gone. The, the water is gone. But verse number 19 says that God opened her eyes and even though the little water was gone, yeah. she saw a well of water. Help me somebody. Amen. Won't the Lord make a way somehow? Won't the Lord, amen, make a way out of no way? Won't the Lord turn your midnight into day? God took care yeah. of Hagar. Yeah. There are so many mothers today. They were cast out. But God took care of them. Yeah. God made a way out of no pain. I'm getting ready to close now, but I want to remind you of another woman that the Bible talks about. She had one son. Am I right about it? Yeah. Amen. And she was living in a time where there was a famine in the land. Right, right. The Bible says that for three years and six months, it had not rained. Amen, amen. But one day she met a man named Elijah. Yeah, come on, come on. And she met him while she was out, amen, wandering around picking up sticks because she was getting ready, amen, to take the last little bit of meal that she had and the last little bit of all that she had and make, amen, a whole cake of bread and give it to her son and she was going to eat a little bit of it and they were going to lay down and die but she met the man of God, amen, she met God's man, help me somebody, and he told her to go and make me a little bread, help me somebody, and she was obedient to the man of God, and because of her faith, and because of her obedience, when she did stoop down into the barrel of yeah. meal, amen, it, it just kept overflowing, and the oil kept overflowing, yeah. won't the Lord make a, a way out of no way, won't the Lord turn bits out, won't the Lord bless you, even when you can't even see yeah. a blessing coming. Yeah. So whatever your situation is, mm -hmm. if you're facing something right now, mm -hmm. just remember that God is able. Not only is he able, but he is on your side. The Lord will. I tell you, the Lord will make a way somehow. Anybody can testify this morning yeah, yeah, yeah. that the Lord will make a way somehow? I said, is there anybody in here this morning that can testify that the Lord will make a way somehow? Is there anybody that can tell your story right now how the Lord made a way out of no way for you? The Lord will make a way somehow. You may not be able to see it right now. You may not be the Lord will, 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 the Lord